Hi there, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert. Today I'm going to do a show and tell of Stereo Monoizer by Soundizers. This product was first brought to our attention in Pro Tools Expert podcast 155. Those of us on the podcast like the sound of this bit of software, so I decided to do a video so that you can see at home for yourselves what it's capable of. So, what is Stereo Monoizer and what can it do? Stereo Monoizer batch analyzes audio files and determines whether or not a stereo file has any stereo content in it. It basically finds mono sourced audio files disguised as stereo files, thus removing the guesswork and time once spent breaking up stereo files with mono sourced audio. I know I've spent countless hours in the past preparing, organizing, and splitting stereo stems such as bass guitar, lead vocals, and snare drums. Well, the list goes on. Things that I know weren't originally tracked in stereo. I like to think of this bit of software as a mono file butler. You give him all your stereo files for the project you're about to import and you ask him to sort these files out so that all you're left with are stereo files for true stereo tracks and mono files for true mono tracks. So, as you can see, Stereo Monoizer is a standalone software with a very clean and intuitive layout, so this isn't going to take me long to show you around. At the top right we have the browser where we can either drop in a selection of files or a complete folder. Under the browser we have the waveform view which will show you the waveform for any file selected above. Now what's really nice about this is that the waveform will display grey showing mono information or blue indicating that there's stereo information. So if I click the drums which I know is stereo the waveform displays blue and if I click the bass, which I know was recorded with a DI box and in mono, it shows grey. You can also play back the waveform by clicking in it and hitting the play button here or spacebar. Now what if part of the stereo file is in mono and some is in stereo? Well, let's click electric guitar 2 and find out. This guitar was recorded in mono but pre-mixed with a stereolyzer plugin in the bridge and Stereo Monoizer has found that by displaying the bridge section in blue. Very clever. This means Stereo Monoizer will leave this file alone and keep it as a stereo file. There are some useful options on the left here. First being include subfolders. So if you imported a folder that had a folder within it, it would sort that out for you. The next being process selected items only, which means if you highlight only a portion of the files in the browser, Stereo Monoizer will only analyze and process those. We have pan depth compensation, which is really useful if you've received files from someone that had their panning laws set differently in their DAW. It compensates for the pan depth setting in your session. Blake Iceman, who is one of the co-founders of Sound Eyes, has sent me a really good explanation for this. His words are, let's say I'm using Pro Tools, and I have the pan depth set to minus 3 dB in my session. I get stems from someone who has already done a premix and I want to keep the levels consistent. If I didn't use this setting, any files that are converted to mono would sound 3 dB lower because of the pan depth setting in Pro Tools. With this setting turned on, it compensates for that change in value by raising the level of the converted mono files. As a result, the mix will still sound the same with all faders at Unity Game, so a very useful setting to have. Now, output mode gives you a few useful options. First being to overwrite the original files, these being the files that you dragged into Stereo Monoizer. It even gives you the option to create a backup of the original files, which is nice. So now I have all my options set, I'm going to hit Analyze. There we go. If you look back to the browser, you'll see the outcome for stereo mono conversion, whether or not you had it normalized, and the source info. You can choose your conversion type here under each drop down menu. So if we go to base, convert mono left. If we go down to electric guitar, no conversion because we've got the stereo bridge. We've got vocal leads again. We can choose to convert mono left or split stereo if you choose you want to do that. Now the backing vocals are interesting because I know one of them, if not both of them, are hard pan left. So the right channel is empty and it's found that, which is nice. So we can choose to convert mono left. 
And once you've set all your conversion options, you simply just go down and hit process. And it gives us a progress log if you had that selected, which is nice. And we can save that. And there's all our files sorted. So what does this do that a phase scope can't? Well, Blake also informed me, and again, these are his own words, the difference between a phase scope and stereo monoizer is that with stereo monoizer, you can see the stereo content of your entire file at a glance with the waveform showing blue. A phase scope is instantaneous. If you have a mono track that goes into stereo only in the bridge, like our electric guitar 2, this track there, you'll have to actually listen to the bridge in order to see that on a phase scope. But with stereo monoizer, you will see it as soon as you view it in the waveform. So to round this up, and as I said at the start, this is a time-saving tool. Soundizers state on their website, if time really is money, you can't afford not to own Stereo Monoizer. And I agree with that statement. It is very well priced and you also receive two licenses in that price. So you can activate it on two different machines, which is great value for money. I like the visual feedback in the waveform view and the effortless way you can organize and process files before even importing them into Pro Tools or your own DAW. The processing speed is very quick and I'm using a 2010 Mac Pro with 32 gigs of RAM. At present, this is Mac only, but Soundizers are releasing a Windows version set for the end of March 2015. I strongly recommend you grab yourself a copy of the demo and have a play around with it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.